This specific dining table product comes with the ability to add two extended segments to the end of the tabletop to increase the capacity for the table. Therefore, I want to be able to add two pieces of geometry that indicate these extensions and also to be able to control whether they appear inside the project. So firstly, I will model the geometry. So firstly, I need to create two reference planes. I'll give this a name. And I can use the mirror pickaxes tool. I'll extend these parameters outside of the reference planes. I didn't actually make a copy, so I'll pick axis and make a copy. I will create two dimensions between the edge of the table and the new reference planes. And I will create a new label or parameter and call it extension width. And I will set this as a type parameter. Select OK. And I know that the extension width I wish is 450 millimeters, so I can adjust the parameter. I'll go to my types and just check that for the other type. I also adjust the extension width to 450 millimeters. So it's important to remember if you have multiple types in your family to go through the types to ensure you have the correct values for any new dimensions. Click OK. So now I can create the geometry. So I'll go create extrusion. I will set my work plane to the tabletop bottom, which is currently set at. Select OK and I will use the pick lines tool and lock and I'll create all of the lines and both sketches inside the same sketch so I'll have to overlap lines but I get warnings but I'm going to ignore because once I resolve the sketch there won't be any aligned or overlapping geometry There we go, so I now have two separate closed sketches within the same sketch. I can finish edit mode. I want to set the material to be the tabletop material. And I will set the subcategory to be the tabletop. I'll go to the front elevation and just click and drag the top of the geometry and lock it to the tabletop reference plane. So now if I go into 3D I can see the extension geometry has been added to the family. In order to be able to choose whether this geometry is visible or not within a project, I need to assign the visible property 
to a parameter. So I can select the associate family parameter toggle. And there is no existing family parameter of a compatible type. So I will select new parameter and I will call this extensions. Note that the type of parameter is fixed to a yes, no parameter. I'll keep it as a type parameter and I will put the grouping under construction. And I'll select OK. And then OK again. Now, if I go into the family types, I have this new parameter that I've created called extensions. And note that the value is a tick box indicating either ticked for yes or unticked for no. And this is a yes, no parameter. Therefore, if I select OK and I turn the preview visibility on to preview what the family would look like with these settings in a project. And I untick extensions, click apply, I can see the extensions disappear. Turn it back on and I can see the extensions appear. I'm now going to create a new type called 2700 width by 900 depth by 760 height and I'll type in extended in the type name. I'll keep the actual width at 1800 and the extension width at 450 and I'll keep the extensions on. But for the other types, I will turn the extensions off. So now if I view the 900 by 900 type, it is smaller and there are no extensions. If I remove the preview visibility, note that I can still see the geometry. However, because it is not visible, indicated by the blank yes, no tick box, it does turn a lighter gray color. If I go to the slightly larger table, I can still see the extensions in grey. I'll now load into project and I will make sure I override the existing version and its parameter values because I want to make sure that all the parameter value amendments I have done in the family are now reflected in the project. As I can see nothing has changed currently but if I now select in the type selector I have the new extended version which if I select I can now see the two extensions. If I go to edit type I can see that the extensions parameter is available and is selected. Again if I go to a floor plan I can see the two pieces of geometry, one for the extensions and the original fixed table visible. So that is how to add a yes no parameter to control the visibility of geometry within your Revit family.